Welcome to the Forecast Pro tutorial on Forecast Value Add. Forecast Value Add is part of our forecast accuracy tracking. It's a metric where we can actually measure the improvement in forecast accuracy for the different adjustments that you make to the forecast. Primarily, we'll be focused on where you make overrides and how much value those overrides add in general. In a normal monthly process, you would initially begin your Forecast Pro project by reading and forecasting your data. Then you'll go and actually adjust that forecast using your own business intelligence, including customizing the models and entering overrides. And finally, when you've completed your work, you'll go ahead and save your project. Then when you come back the following month, you're going to update your historical data with the new month's worth of history, and we're going to load in that new historical data into Forecast Pro and generate a new updated forecast. At that point, we are able to actually review the adjustments that we made the previous period and see how much those improved the forecast. Let's look at an example. Here I have some sample data using our auto parts data set. What I have done is I've read in the data and currently the historical data goes through April of 2021. And as you can see throughout the Forecast Pro hierarchy, we have made additional overrides as we would in a normal situation. Here we have two override rows, one for demand planning and one for management. When I've completed making adjustments for the given period, I would go ahead and save my project. Now, as another month would go by, May's actuals would come into my historic data file, and I would update my historic file to include that. Returning to Forecast Pro, I would open up my project and I'd be prompted to update my data, which I would go ahead and do. Returning to the data, now you can see that I have data going through May of 2021. And you can see my overrides have been restored. What I want to do is look at how much my forecast overrides in May improved my forecast accuracy, if any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close these two windows, go to the Reports tab, and open the new Forecast Value Add report. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and maximize it. Here what we can see in the report is what actually happened here in May. We sold 291 units. The statistical forecast was for 209 units, so we had a forecast error of about 28%. Demand planning raised the forecast from 209 to 300 units, having a forecast error of only 3%, an improvement of 24% in the forecast error. Management, on the other hand, expected a lower forecast, and they lowered the forecast to 200 units, which created a 31% error, or actually decreased the forecast accuracy by 3% compared to the statistical. In this case, it is clear that demand planning actually improved the forecast accuracy. Now in this report, we can go to our settings, and you can see in addition to the overrides we had, we could compare this against the original forecast, the statistical forecast, the naive forecast, which is just an average. We can look at different lead times of the data. I'm looking at simply the last month, but we could look at both. And we could show the errors in either units or percentages. So we have many ways to customize this report. In addition to the item by item forecast value add report, we have also added a forecast value add exception report. The forecast value add exception report will allow me to look at all of the adjustments I have made across all of my items. I can go ahead and filter this report. And for instance, I can filter on all of my SKUs. And I can filter only where I actually have a forecast error and eliminate all the items where I did not make an override. And this will allow me to look at my different items that have adjustments to them and see how my forecast value add has been working. As with any of the exception report, this report also has its own settings. You can see I'm comparing last period, but I can also customize the lead time. I can show what different pieces I want as we could in the individual item report. And I can see what I'm comparing against, the statistical versus the naive versus the actual.
So again, allowing me to have complete control over which of these items I have made adjustments to, and where did my adjustments add value, and where did they not.